Hi, I'm James and welcome back to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Asus VivoBook 14, an Intel powered 14 inch notebook with a great display, some great functionality and a fantastic price point. I'll be unboxing the notebook, taking a look at its key features and functionality and testing it out with a few key metrics to see just how it stacks up. So let's do this. And you get this quite nice neutral colored box that says in search of incredible, the Asus uh, tagline. Uh, and I've gone ahead and actually pre-undone the security tape as well to make the unboxing process a little bit more seamless. Inside the box, you'll find the notebook itself on the right hand side with your included power brick over on the left. You can see here we've got our standard uh, wall plug to cloverleaf connector. You'll then also find your very, very compact uh, power adapter as well. So this goes into the plug we just took out, super small, super compact and will fit perfectly, uh, not just in a backpack, but in like a pocket if you needed to. In the remainder of the box then, in this white protective packaging, we have the VivoBook 14 itself. 14 inches is actually a really fantastic form factor. I find 13 to be a touch on the small side, but 15 can be a little bit cumbersome, especially if you're looking to transport your notebook around quite a lot. Opening up the notebook, I'm also going to take this opportunity to clear the mess off the table and have a proper first look around the device. Up top here, we've got a chiclet style keyboard. You don't get a number pad due to the compact form factor, but full size arrow keys are still present. You get a trackpad down the bottom as well, which feels pretty nice to the touch and a 14 inch display with a webcam and two microphones. On the left hand side of your IO, you'll then find a full size USB 3 port, a full size HDMI connector, USB-C, great for future proofing and your power adapter, where we're going to actually use to charge the notebook up. On the other side, you'll then find another pair of USB 3 ports alongside a headphone mic combo jack a micro SD card reader, awesome for adding expandable storage or, you know, copying off some photos from a phone or a camera. And then you'll also find a couple of status LEDs uh, for your CPU usage, your battery usage, your hard drive usage, all that sort of stuff. The notebook feels extremely lightweight as well, making it uber portable, perfect for an education or work setting or just general productivity at home. I'm going to go ahead and get the notebook powered up though with this tiny little Asus power brick and then run through a few key performance metrics. I'll rejoin you in a second for the Windows setup process. One of the first tests we're going to do once we're into Windows is a type in test. I've gone ahead and configured a two minute test to see just how well I got on with this chiclet style keyboard. As with any new device, it will take you some time to get adjusted, but it's always nice to see some initial results. So let's do this. First impressions are pretty good. The keyboard keys themselves feel a little bit too spaced out for me, but all in all, uh, they're quite satisfying to press. Uh, you aren't gonna accidentally hit the wrong keys because the extra spacing just creates that extra gap. gap. A little bit more distance uh, just makes things a little bit easier in that regard. I'm just trying to concentrate and talk at the same time. It's a little bit difficult, but so far so good. Not too many errors on this. Speed could be a little bit better for me, but the keyboard feels good. Uh, I like the keys, they're nice and soft. The matte finish is still fairly grippy though, uh, which is good. This might seem like a very detailed analysis of a keyboard, but it's a very important factor on a notebook like this, where you're going to be using the keyboard for the vast majority of your productivity oriented tasks. For a gaming device, it's more likely you'd have external peripherals plugged in. This one, less so much. The last few seconds now, as we try and get in the last sentence before the timer runs out, nearly did it. What kind of speeds are we gonna get? This is uh, gonna be really, really interesting. Analyzing the results. Here we go, moment of truth time. Okay, 52 words per minute. So that's faster than the average at 32. But I'm gonna give it one more go, not gonna talk this time, and I'm gonna see what kind of results we can achieve the second time round with this VivoBook keyboard. In three, in two, in one, retake. The last 10 seconds now of the second test. This one feels 
a lot, lot quicker as I talked a little bit less and concentrated more on the typing as we went through our last few words now of the second version of the typing test. Here we go, 68 words per minute that time, 99% accuracy with only one typo per minute. That is really, really good. That's an increase of what, like 10, 20% over the last test and shows the Viva Books keyboard is actually really, really nice to use. But it's not just the keyboard that's important on a notebook like this. It's also important that the visual image quality of the display is pretty nice. So we've loaded up this HDR video test, which is going to be a good way to evaluate the visual fidelity. Not only does the image look pretty sharp, but colors are fairly rich. Remember, of course, this isn't an OLED, it isn't a HDR panel, and you aren't paying those kind of price premiums for it either. It's a budget notebook with a budget display and a budget package, but the screen still looks great. Colors are very, very good. Asus makes so many of these panels that they have color calibration and the actual panel design 2AT. Looks really, really fantastic to me. Colors are rich, vibrant, uh, and shows this notebook will not only be good for diving into an Excel or a PowerPoint presentation, uh, but also for watching a bit of YouTube or Netflix in your free time. So typing's good, image quality's good, but what about audio quality? We're gonna just notch the volume down a little bit so we don't deafen you, and we're gonna play a song from Artlist, a music provider we use here on the eBuyer channel. So currently sitting around a quarter volume, jump up to about a third, sounds still pretty good. Halfway also sounds okay as well, and right up to full, this notebook has got some volume. Obviously not the world's greatest, most refined audio quality, but for a budget notebook with some budget speakers, it really works well in my opinion helping not only, as I say, for you to uh, look at those productivity-oriented tasks, but also browse a bit of Netflix, YouTube, or Prime Video in your spare time. But there is one more test we haven't yet done here on the eBuy channel, something that's especially important for a notebook like this one. And to carry out this test, we're going to open the camera app in Windows and try out the webcam on this Vivo book. We're going to grant access, jump into full screen, and then head over into video mode. And then gonna click record, pan it around to myself, and then do a piece to camera and actually talk to the Vivo book. We'll switch as well to the built-in microphones on this notebook, so if you'd like to hear and evaluate the visual fidelity and the sound quality for yourself, you can do so. And remember, we're minimized in a smaller window or a multi-view on a Zoom call. This is actually going to look pretty good. You also get a green LED status indicator to show that you're recording, and all in all, the camera quality for the notebook, not too bad at all. It is worth noting we've got some big lights on here in the e studio, which do skew things a little bit, but a well lit scene and the notebook seems to be coping pretty well. On that note though, that pretty much wraps it up for our first look, unboxing and review of the Asus VivoBook 14. Powered by an awesome Intel processor uh, with some nice amounts of memory, built in SSD storage and some great connectivity. A 14 inch display strikes a nice balance between the small 13 and the large 15 inch form factors, while a build quality, solid keyboard and decent camera round off a solid notebook. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Learn more about the notebook at the links in the description below. And as always, we'll see you soon here at eBuyer.